Hey drummers, Gary Williams here. Welcome to my first reaction video. I'm excited to share my years of teaching experience and ability to pick out things by ear with the rest of the drumming community who would like to understand some of the things that these great drummers are doing. To start this off, I'm going to start with a video of Dave Weckl playing, one of my favorite contemporary fusion jazz drummers. So we're going to check out this video with him performing with Oz Noy. So let's take a look. Here we go. First thing is check out that right hand grip. He's holding the stick with thumb and middle finger, more of an influence with his instructions with Freddie Gruber. Check out the left hand coming up for a nice molar whip stroke. Keeps his hand really still for all the soft, gentle filler notes, the tap strokes, the ghost strokes. Great thick sound by playing across the edge of the hi-hat cymbals. Let's check it out. Notice that left foot always keeping time, just pumping right there at that point. It's playing an eighth note pulse one. Also, check out his right hand on the bell of the ride cymbal. I studied his right hand many years ago, as I did many other drummers, starting with Steve Gadd especially. And notice how he's not bashing the bell. This is an area where many developing drummers just really don't have a good touch when it comes to the other half of the drum kit, which is cymbals. So notice his great control and great balance of dynamics between the bell of the ride and the rest of the kit. The bell isn't being struck so loud that it's really being a distraction. Checking it out. <laughs> Those are three stroke roughs, unlike drags, which are a double and a single, just very nice, clean. He always strikes the drums right in the middle, gets a great sound, never overplays the cymbals. Coming down nicely for the solo. right hand is nice and low you might notice this hunched over nature I think this is an influence with Steve Gadd where Steve Gadd would talk about kind of getting into sort of a hunched over for these like tight pockets especially as the volume comes down the drummers sometimes will crunch down their body to help them sort of realize physiologically a softer touch but notice the stroke heights and then you're gonna notice probably some cool interaction knowing these guys they all listen and work together let's check it out More intensity on that hi hat plane. Yeah. Marking that phrase point.
great little interaction, the triplet like fill that he did going into the ride. We're lifting it now as we keep this solo building and building. Nice singles. Good left hand work. Here we go. The cue out. The classic stack trash. an eighth on it now, really taking it up. Classic two up, two down, right, left foot, foot, bing, 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 bop. Nice. Here we go back into the main guitar vamp. Notice that left foot. Backwards. Right, left, left. Little six, eight. This is what's so cool about his playing. His able the ability to blend these different subdivisions is just fantastic. You really got to check out his second video way back called The Next Step, where he talks about sitting in the basement and sweat and doing these hand foot patterns and moving them in and out of triplets and sixteenths to create this beautiful fluidity that he has when he improvises. Classic Gad Lick. Three up, one down, and kind of a little bunch triplet thing. Very, very happening there. Some paradiddles, paradiddle diddles, single strokes mixed in with some partial six stroke rolls there. Some great movements around the drums with the hands. Some use of an idea, but to be playing it over and repeating it and just cycles polyrhythmically into the hit. Just amazing. Nice and heavy. Here we go. Cue it out. Ah, great way to cue the end. Coming back into the groove a bit. Yep. Obviously, the audience loves him. stuff. Just love that man's playing. He's just so darn fluid. He can do anything he seems to want to do. 
Let's get this off of here. What'd you guys think? I just love this guy's playing. Studied it extensively. Went through his first book called Contemporary Drummer Plus One many years ago when it came out. Learned all this stuff about songos, uh, salsas, songos in 7-4 time, beat displacement, polyrhythms. And especially, as I mentioned earlier, the second of his first two original videos was Back to Basics. The second one was called The Next Step. Got to check that out if you really want to learn how to solo on. And he does some of this in the Dave Weckl Online School for Drummers, too. But I think he's a little more thorough in the original posting. At least it's different. And that's where I really learned to take these ideas and hand foot patterns or hand patterns and move them in and out of triplets and sixteenths so you're really able to fluidly play between even and odd subdivisions. So anyways, that was a cool video. We're going to do some more. And I'll keep them coming at you. Um, if you've got any other videos that you'd like me to look at with Dave or any other great drummers, I'm happy to check them out because this is all part of what I like to do is be able to listen, understand what the drummers are doing, and be able to share some comments on it. And um, I do this in private instruction all the time where students will have something that they want me to help them figure out. I'll listen to it and usually I can figure it out and show them how to do it and even transcribe it. So if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. And um, I'm available for private lessons. If anybody's interested, just go to the website. It's GaryWilliams.com, spelled G-A-R-E-Y, Williams.com. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Okay, take it easy and have a great day. Bye-bye.